All right, boys, we got another electric scooter. You guys remember last time, the one that does like 40 miles per hour. We got another one of those to try out. I don't know if they're just trying to convince me to step away from all these gas scooters that we ride, but I don't think they're gonna. But I do dig them, and we're gonna check out another one today. So uh, let's get to it. We're gonna go over the new Varla Pegasus scooter. Um, these things are super sick, and uh, I think that anybody that appreciates like small motors can have some good fun on uh, these electric scooters, believe it or not, because these things got some power to them. They're really fun to hop around on and goon with your friends. In this video, we're gonna do a few things. I did a skate park test. Overall, just some review on the looks of the scooter and a little bit of comparing it to the Varla Eagle One, which is their more of an off-road style model. This thing blew our minds because it's a dual motor, has so much torque when it takes off, it has multiple gears, the suspension's insane in this thing, and it's super tall. Varla was nice enough to send out that scooter and let us try this thing out, and this thing was super fun. I love this thing. Today we're gonna be trying out Varla's new scooter, the Pegasus, and this thing's also dual motor, but this thing is the city commuter. So as this one, as I said, how it's super off-road friendly. The new scooter that Varla just released is more of like a city commuter, more of a regular model. We're gonna get this thing unboxed. And again, thank you Varla for the opportunity of sending this scooter out. This is not paid. I'm not paid to say this scooter is good at all. This is an honest review. One thing I must say about the boxes that I noticed last time too, is if, uh, these aren't really theft protective because like you see this big thing sitting at someone's front door and it's just literally this Varla Pegasus city community. I know that this thing costs you some money. What you think of so far? Smells? Good smells? Oh yeah. She's packed up in there. There we go. She looks clean dude. These things do not look cheap, that's for sure. Like, And you see this thing on the street? You're gonna know this is some beefy ass Machinery, son. Rubbery padding instead of the grip tape, which kind of makes more sense. We got a box down there. It's probably the charger. Um, yeah, we're going to have to like, pull this thing out kind of all in one go, so definitely going to have to set down the camera to do this. Alright. Straight to it. So this thing stood up. This is a different style clamp design, too. I've not seen that one style before. Um, keys. Um, oh, it looks like it came with a lock. Wow, that's cool, because I was literally just talking about buying a lock for mine the other day. I like the colors. Um, oh, that's what that little ring thing was for. What is that? What could that be for? You unlock it. And then you would bring this down. And this little loop goes here. That way you can carry it by lifting right there. Suspension looks pretty similar. First review on it. Um, springs a lot smaller, obviously. Looks a little stiffer, but a uh, very similar suspension design. With hard tires, kind of like the GoPeds. You know, you have the option to have tube tires or the rock ones. These are obviously better for city. You're not going to get anywhere in dirt. Headlight um, looks a little cheesy, but it kind of looks cool at the same time. Can't tell if I like it. But color-wise, this thing looks badass. It definitely looks like a quality scooter. So let's go ahead and get this thing thrown together, though. This little strap, this little strap it came with is like a safety strap. So make sure your bars don't come unclipped, I guess. I don't know. We're going to see if this thing has battery in it. Is it like a main on switch? I don't remember. Oh, right here. Wow, look at that thing. That looks like tag. Does it have gears? Wow. It does? Yeah. That's really, like, nice. It honestly. says it's full power. Oh! Yeah. It feels like it's got pickup like the other one. Hold on. That one more city looking at. Yeah. More convenient, almost. Yeah, you gotta tighten all the brake stuff. But then, no, it feels fast. You're gonna ride it. Okay. Time out, we're gonna go 
we're gonna go on a commercial break. All right, this thing's set up like how a BMX bike stem is. So it has the bolts on the side and the bolts on the top pulling the headset together. But I think this one's just a little too tight and making it where it doesn't want to turn. So I tighten the brakes too. All the brakes had loose joints on them. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely like a more friendly. It's fast. <laughs> it's pretty quick. It has like a good mid. Did you try shifting the gears? It takes off different. No. If I you didn't. take off, look. If you take off in first. So see where it says one. When you press up, second gear, third gear. But if you start in first gear, take off, and then press that when you feel the need to shift, you'll feel it rev out. Really? Yeah, it's interesting. You feel it change, right? You feel it shift gears. It still has the dual swing arm too, like full suspension. I didn't think it did in the photos. It's pretty much the exact same thing, just smaller. That one's actually a monster though. Huge tube tires. <clears throat> Real Varla test piece out here. There you go. This thing's so heavy, it's like 90 pounds. Boys, we're taking off in the daily. Look at this. You see that hanging down there, bro? Look at that. You know, last time we were racing the stock um, Honda 50, and then we raced also like 72 Honda against the scooter. You know, I did that for this video. That's why the thumbnail is that I was comparing my gas scooter to this electric scooter, but the two totally different types of scooters. So right now, we're mobbing out to the boy Cole's house, and he's got a gas scooter. I'm talking about like a go-ped, a real go-ped. And we're gonna put this Barla to the test. It's not fair. But you'll probably catch me in the top end. But you're just pushing and you're already going. My end is not even starting. I'm pushing and running and jumping around. And the end is not even fired up and you're already halfway down the street. <laughs> Cold start. Things looking slow. Yeah. Things yeah. looking a little slow right I don't there. Think that's gonna be picking up on you. Yeah. Oh, it sounds a little faster now. You know, he's got Let's a little go. different setup. Yep. Skeleton, right? This, this one for sure weighs more. This weighs one's like more, 60. Yeah. So, okay. We're gonna see too. <laughs> you, your weight, your body weight versus his. Oh, body yeah, body true. Body he's like 40 pounds he's lighter. Like 40 pounds lighter, easily. That was kind of quick. How fast do you think that was miles per hour? Uh, like 20? Uh, it, it sounds like it's ripping. <laughs> How fast do you think that thing Sorry, just went? The wire. Probably like 40. You're adding up weight. <laughs> Let me see this thing. Stupid light. Oh my oh, god. Oh, no. That is not this thing. Kind of. 
Can't even yeah. lift it with one arm. Can't even lift it. You can lift it above your head. So yeah. Yeah, you're lighter, yeah, you're lighter and the bike or the scooter. <laughs> Alright, well, let me fire mine up. Oh, this actually shut it off. It was already fired up. It was. I already got it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually go through gears too. Start. <laughs> what is that? You're priming it? Yeah. Okay, he's priming it. I don't know, man. I think Cole's got him. Uh oh, I did. came off yeah the spindle must have came off with bolt or some shit <laughs> it, it just got loose yeah it's just yang <laughs> 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 All right, boys, we have to give the Varla one more rip in this video. We're in first gear, we're gonna go ahead and give it a shift. Get up to third gear, that's where we stay, baby. Oh yeah, dude, it eats. Oh, right here, this is the perfect one. Are you kidding me, bro? This thing eats it, man. Comparing it to the Eagle one, I like the Eagle one obviously more because I like the top speed. But um, this being something I would give to like someone who doesn't ride all the time, my girlfriend or something to hop on, I would definitely rather give her this one. This one is super like user friendly. It feels really solid. Um all right, dudes, this is gonna do it for the Varla Pegasus test review. We took it against the gas scooter, the gas scooter one. This thing does not compare to the Eagle one. Um, my honest review of this scooter right here is this thing is a solid piece But if you're looking for something you live in a city and you just need a scooter to get back and forth You're not using it for fun more for just transport This is what you want to go with if you're looking for something cool and You want to go fast and you want to mob now. This is more my speed Pegasus is what's more designed They sell it as a city commuter and I think it lives straight up to that name The only thing though is this bar situation. This is how it clamps like I was showing Bars are a lot skinnier in diameter. These bars have so much play, you can't really see it unless I stood on it. It's, it's, it's scary, like it really is. This design right here is so solid. Like this design of this scooter is really solid. This bar design, great, great design, like it. I wish this feature was on there and then I wish this motor was in here if that's how you want to look at it. Electric versus gas, because that's kind of what I look at this thing is like what the future is to hold. Um, I think it's interesting. I think this dual motor design on uh, these scooters and the feeling the power that these things can have shows like maybe what's to come in the future would be very, very interesting to say the least. I hope you guys like this video. I know it's not like the normal video. It's kind of like more of like a review video, but uh, it was fun to make and uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. That's going to do it for this one. I'll see you guys in the next one.